Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, purple uh, square fully confined uh, in a semi-circle with the center O as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, the area of this uh, semi-circle is uh, 50 pi centimeter square and this uh, code EC is uh, 16 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the radius uh, lowercase uh, r of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with the semicircle, so therefore I am going to divide this uh, pi r square by 2. And now we know that the area of this uh, semicircle has been given to us uh, as uh, 50 pi. So therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blank so I can write uh, 50 pi equal to pi r square divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and multiply by 2 on both uh, sides. So therefore on the left hand side we got 100 pi equals to on this side uh, 2 and 2 is gone so we got pi r square and now we can see this pi and pi they are uh, gone so therefore we are ended up with the r square equal to 100. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be positive 10 centimeter. So therefore the diameter EF of this semicircle is going to be twice of this uh, radius uh, which is 10. 10 times 2 is going to make uh, 20 centimeter. So therefore uh, this uh, diameter EF uh, turns out to be 20 centimeter. And here's our next step. I have extended uh, this uh, line uh, CB all the way to this uh, point uh, F. So therefore we got this uh, code uh, CF. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, if we have these three points E, C and F, uh, distinct points uh, on the circle with angle E, C, F is a right uh, angle, then the EF line is uh, our diameter. As you can see in this uh, diagram, and this uh, angle uh, ECF uh, is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that all these uh, three points uh, C, B and F uh, lie on the very same uh, line. And as a result we got this uh, right uh, triangle uh, ECF. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, ECF whose uh, this uh, longest leg uh, is uh, EF is uh, 20 centimeter and this uh, side length uh, EC is uh, 16 and now let's recall uh, Pythagorean triplets uh, 3 4 and uh, 5 and now let's go ahead and multiply all these numbers by 4 uh, across the board and as a result uh, 3 times 4 is going to give us uh, 12 4 times 4 is 16 and 5 times 4 is going to be 20 so therefore we conclude that this uh, unknown side length uh, CF uh, is going to be 12 centimeter. So let me go ahead and write down 12 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, some of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume that this angle is alpha and we know that this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees, this angle uh, is uh, beta, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be alpha. And finally in this uh, triangle uh, this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be beta. So therefore we conclude that this uh, big uh, right triangle ECF uh, is uh, similar to this uh, smaller triangle uh, 
ABF and this uh, is similar to another right triangle EDA. In other words, all these uh, triangles are uh, similar triangles according to angle, angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportions. Let's go ahead and focus uh, on these uh, two similar uh, triangles, ECF uh, and uh, ABF. So therefore, we are going to have a ratio of AB and uh, BF. Let me go ahead and write down uh, AB divided by BF is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, this uh, bigger triangle length uh, EC and uh, CF. Let me go ahead and write down uh, EC divided by CF. And now we know that our uh, EC length uh, is uh, 16 and CF length uh, is uh, 12. So therefore uh, AB divided by BF is going to be equal to 16 divided by 12. And now 16 divided by 12 could be reduced to 4 divided by 3. And now let's go ahead and compare AB and uh, BF. And we can see that uh, AB is going to be equal to 4 times some constant K. And uh, BF is going to be equal to 3 times uh, some constant K as well. So therefore we can see that our this side length uh, AB is 4K and this uh, BF is uh, 3K. And now since we are dealing with this uh, purple uh, square that means uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length, uh, this side length, uh, all of them are equal lengths. So therefore uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be 4 times K as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, CF uh, length uh, is uh, 4K plus 3K is going to give us uh, 7K. And furthermore, uh, this uh, CF uh, length is uh, also 12 uh, centimeter. So therefore, I can go ahead and uh, equate uh, 7K equals to 12. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 7. This 7 is 7 is gone. So therefore, our constant K value turns out to be 12 divided by 7. And now we know that our uh, AB length is uh, 4 times uh, K and our K value is 12 divided by 7. So therefore, our side length uh, AB is going to be 4 times uh, 12 divided by 7. So that is going to be 48 uh, divided by 7. So therefore, the side length uh, of this uh, purple square turns out to be 48 uh, divided by 7 centimeter. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length is uh, 48 uh, divided by 7. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, purple square equals to 48 divided by 7 whole square. And if we simplify the right hand side, so the area turns out to be approximately equal to 47.02 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, purple square turns out to be 47.02 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.